Mr. Madigan. Wacker, Wacker and I never have to change, mate. Thank you, Mr. President. My question is to the Minister for Defence, Senator Payne. Minister, before the government commits to $30 billion expenditure, a well equipped defence force could become a museum exhibit if it cannot be supported by adequate logistics in a time of conflict. There are serious concerns about the ability of our defence forces to have a guaranteed supply of fuel in a conflict scenario, given the fact that Australia has no government-owned fuel stocks and does not mandate minimum stock levels for industry to hold. Fuel security is the job of government. How would the government respond to a direct attack on our fuel supply lines? The Minister for Defence, Senator Payne. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. President, and I thank Senator Madigan uh, for his question. Um, in fact, there have been uh, a number of discussions recently. Uh, uh, most recently, I think I saw uh, uh, former Air Vice Marshal John Blackburn um, making some observations in uh, in relation to this. Um, significantly, Mr. President, while Defence is indeed able to uh, to meet its fuel requirements through its own stock holdings, it is important to note that uh, we do in fact have a number of other supply options. Um, amongst those, uh, I would uh, I would indicate that we have arrangements, of course, for example, with our closest allies, who uh, who can be replied on should there be an interruption to uh, to the general supply of fuel. I understand. Um, uh, also in Senator Madigan's question, particularly in relation to, um, to logistics support. This is uh, an aspect of the White Paper to which I would in fact uh, draw Senator Madigan's attention, Mr President, because it's an area of uh, enabling capacity or capability within defence that has been significantly underfunded in recent years, and it's one which this White Paper most importantly seeks to address and in fact redress. Thank you, Minister. Senator Madigan, supplementary question. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, Minister, the government doesn't know the amount and location of fuel stocks in this country because the government doesn't mandate reporting of fuel stocks, unlike the majority of developed nations. Does the government see this as a significant weakness in our defence capability? Minister. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. President. Um, I think I indicated in my previous question uh, defence's views and, in fact, the government's views in relation to uh, our ability to meet our fuel requirement through our own stock holdings and the other supply options, uh, in fact, that we have. Uh, I note the concerns that Senator Madigan has raised and uh, will certainly um, undertake to seek further advice for him if he would like it. Thank you, Minister. Senator Madigan, final question. Thank you, Mr. President. Minister, the government depends on commercial fuel supply chains for our fuel, a supply chain upon which we are critically dependent, but one which the government has no control over. The fuel industry sector cannot be delegated responsibility for our fuel security. Can the minister refer me to where in the Defence White Paper this critical issue is addressed? Minister. Um, thank you very much, Mr. President. And as I indicated uh, in reference to uh, particularly the, logis the logistics aspects uh, of the White Paper, that, that is the, uh, the point that uh, Senator Madigan uh, should uh, take his reference from, if I may say. But this is, and I wouldn't like Senator Madigan to go away from, uh, from this discussion thinking this is not an issue to which Defence A has turned its mind and B um, just works on regularly, given its importance in terms of our day-to-day uh, -day operations, let alone operations in extremis. And uh, that, uh, Senator Madigan, I can absolutely assure you, is the case. It is a matter uh, on which we place significant focus and uh, on which we do a great deal of work.